Hi hey everyone, this is Fabio Varesano from varesano.net In this video I show you how I rework a QFN chip which is an ITG FreeTuo gyroscope and in this video I will um, desolder the chip here using um, hot air on, uh, using a hot air and then I will uh, place a new new solder using uh, uh, using flux and you see how I'm gonna do this this is um, a very simple uh, breakout board for the gyroscope scope, and this is uh, breakout board has some problems somewhere in a faulty connection around here, I don't know where but something went wrong during the reflow process actually you can see here on the side that there is there are some pins we didn't get enough solder paste when I was doing the uh, solder paste placing with the stencil so now what I'm gonna do is desolder the chip and then place a new fresh solder on the various pads and then uh, solder again the chip so ok so I start with my hot air gun here and what I'm gonna do is placing the hot air gun at about 10 cm from the breakout board in order to preheat the board I'm gonna do this for about 30 seconds so that the board start to heat up you can see here and now that the board has preheated I place the hot air gun near the gyroscope near the chip I'm now trying to see if the solder has already melted and that's it I remove the chip which is the chip is here you can see okay now it's time to place to place the flux I will let the board uh, cool down a little bit and now that is it's quite ready I'm using this this uh, um, flux here which is chip quick SMD 291NL which is a no, no clean tack flux which is very very good for it, for this kind of uh, reworking jobs and I really suggest you to buy one of these because it's really worth the money so the board here has, has cooled down now and I can start placing the the flux on the on the PCB the very good thing about this um, flux here is that it is uh, uh, is not liquid but is uh, tack it's um, it's quite a bit solid so that you can place it on the board very in a very good way you can see here that I'm placing it over there over the pads okay okay now I take my I take my soldering iron here with uh, not a very thin bit but a normal bit here and 
what I'm gonna do is uh, taking the solder here this is here taking the solder and place a little bit of solder on the bit of the soldering iron like this once I, I have the the solder on the iron I can place it on the on the board like this I carefully inspect for any shorts and that's it let's visually inspect the board See. As you can see, we have uh, we have the solder which is uh, uniformly uh, deployed on the on the pads. So this is uh, this is pretty good, I think. So I'm now moving to the next steps, which is. The next steps will be the next steps will be placing a little bit of uh, fresh flux on the board, just a very little bit because there's already the old the flux there. And I will check that the gyroscope is placed with in the current posi po correct position. I now place it right there. I don't have to be very precise doing this operation, just a matter of placing. Okay. Okay. And let's start doing the doing the reflow of the chip. Again, I start preheating the board at about 10 centimeters from the PCB, and I'm doing this for about 30 to 1 minute of time. You will see that the flux start to to melt, and we will later see that. Okay, now it's time to move into into the place. You will see that there are fumes from the the reflow of the flux, and the chip is now in place. To check. I can touch it slightly. And as you can see, it will pop back into place. And that's it. I I can now remove the the board again at about 10 cm in order to let it slowly cool down and then I remove 
the, the gun completely. And let's wait a uh, some seconds. And check it out. Let's check it out. I think it looks pretty good. Apart from this ear which I will remove by with the soldering iron but I think it should work now okay that's it okay so now we are trying to test the board I do have here my setup I do have my Arduino Uno my logic level converter and the board that we just reflowed and I do have here a sketch running an Arduino sketch running which just which just uh, reads from the from the sensor and you can see that it's working pretty good and that's it we just reworked that board we reflowed the the chip and everything looks pretty good so thanks for watching and goodbye